In this video, we're going to look at private versus public network settings in Windows 10. Hi, I'm John Grubb from 4kcc.com. If this is your first time here, do us a favor and click that subscribe button and then the notification bell. If you've been here before, welcome back. And as you go through the video, if you learn something new, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Okay, let's get started. In our remote technical support, one of the things that we found most overlooked is the setting of privacy or public networking. This can be important. If you're on public when you should be on private, you might allow a hacker access to your machine, or you might be prevented from accessing something on your network because the network is private and your machine is on public. So in this video, first of all, we're going to show you how to check that and how to make changes. Let's go to the Start menu and then to Settings. And when Settings opens, let's find Network and Internet. And we access that. As you can see, I'm showing that I'm on a public network. The problem is I'm not. I'm in the office where we have secure internet. This machine is connected with an ethernet cord, but even if it was on wireless, our wireless has a security code or a password. We need to change that. It should be on private. The button labeled properties, that's what we're gonna access next. When we open that, at the top, you see network profile, public and private. Now we're going to click private, and once we see the dot there, we're going to go up to the arrow and back up. And when we go to the status again, we can see that we're now on a private network. If you're at home, if you're at work, any place that you're working where it's a secure network and you know that it's safe, you should be on private. One little note, when you're at a hotel and you have to log in with your last name and room number, that is not a secure network because everyone in the hotel is on the same router. In that case, you really should be using a VPN, virtual private network. But if you can't do that, then you should be on public. Remember, just because you put a password in, that doesn't always mean it's secure. In the case of a hotel, you're on with everyone else in the hotel. If you're at home, at work, where the system is secure, you should be on a private network. One thing to note is that sometimes when you change back to private, even though it says you're on private, occasionally you have to restart the computer before that really takes effect. Be on the lookout for that. Let's look at some other things on this page. Now that we're on private, if we come down under Advanced Network Settings, let's access Network and Sharing Center. When we do that, a window that we're pretty familiar with if we've used anything from you know Windows XP to Vista to 7, we're actually in the control panel now. And we're in Network and Sharing Center. As you can see, it says I'm on a private network. It says I'm connected with an Ethernet. If I was on Wi-Fi, it would show that I was connected that way. In the left-hand column, we want to look at Change Advanced Settings. Once we access that, we'll notice that there are three divisions, Private, Guest or Public, All Networks. Since we're on a private network, let's click the arrow and see what's under there. Network Discovery, if you want other computers on your network to see your computer, that needs to be on. Also, a check mark can turn on automatic setup of network connected devices. Then under file and print sharing, if you want to share files or you want to share your printer uh, that's only connected to your computer, you would also turn that on. For the moment, we're going to skip guest or public because we're not on that. Let's look at all networks. Under all networks, public folder sharing. 
This you would turn on if you want to use public folders. When would you use this? First, let's say you're on a computer that has more than one user account. Maybe it's, maybe it's you or your husband. Maybe it's you or your wife. And you want to be able to share certain files with them. So you would turn this on. You could put that file or a copy of it in a public folder. And then when they're logged in, they could access it. The other place that you would use this is if you want someone on your network, either in your home or at work, you want to be able to share a file with them. You would put that in the public and give them access. And that's what you would use the public folder for. Scrolling down a bit, I'm going to skip over media streaming for the moment. File sharing, you should be on the 128-bit encryption. The setting that we're often asked about is password protected sharing. Should that be on or off? Now here's what this amounts to. If that is turned on, no one is going to be able to access your printers or your public folders unless they actually have a username and password on your computer or you have to give them your information. Instead of that, we're going to turn off the password protected sharing. So they can access your public files, they can access any printers that are plugged into your machine without having a username and password on your computer. Obviously, there's some caution here. If this is on a private network in your home or at work, this setting is probably okay. Although sometimes if you're at a bigger company, the IT department won't allow you to make this change. Anyway, the idea is you don't have to have a username and password. It makes it much easier. Now let's look at public or guest. Network discovery. That should be off if you're on a public network. Now, when would you be on a public network? Okay, let's say you're using your laptop and uh, you're on a road trip and you stop at McDonald's and you hop on their Wi-Fi. Now you're on a public network. You want to make sure that you are set on public and network discovery is off and you turn off file and print sharing. That makes it much more difficult for someone to get into your machine. Now that's not really good enough protection, but it's a start. All right, let's go back and look at choose media streaming options. When I click on this, it tells me that it's off. I'm going to turn it on. What this allows me to do, it allows me to share media. Could be music, could be pictures. It allows me to share it between devices. So I'm sharing mine and other computers that are on the network are sharing to me. As you can see, there are other computers listed here. These are your basic settings. Remember, if you're anywhere that's not your home, you're not connected with an Ethernet cord at home, or you're not on a secure Wi-Fi at home or at work, you should be on public. Again, the way to check that is go to the Start menu, go to Settings, and then go to Network and see how you're listed. Make the changes you need to. Again, you may need to reboot the computer for it to really take effect. I just do that automatically as a rule of thumb. That's it for this video. I hope you learned something new about the difference between private and public networking. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. Thanks.